Football Writers Association vote on all the postseason awards. Should they continue in that role? Kurt Schilling has a $1 million bonus in his deal for one Cy Young vote. Nick, does that put the writers in an uncomfortable position? Of course it does, but it's not the writers' fault. It's the fault of Major League Baseball, who should be looking at these clauses and throwing them out. I spoke to Joe Garagiola Jr. Uh, of the Major League Baseball. He goes over these contracts. He said it was okay. And I said, well, how can it be okay with the, with the possibility that this, could, this situation could happen? Obviously, it's not going to happen, but, but, uh, but still, in, in, in the NFL, they go over these things with a fine-tooth comb, and they throw stuff out that doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. So are you happy with the overall performance of the writers in voting these? We know that two yeah. writers left Josh Beckett completely off the Cy Young ballot uh, yesterday. We know every year George King back at the MVP for Pedro, keeping him off the top ten. Don't some writers use this as a, pull, a bully pulpit for their agenda? Oh, maybe, but what do you want, a talk show host doing it? Yes. I mean, <laughs> funny you should ask. I, I still think it's the, uh, it's the best way to do it. I mean, there's always going to be a problem here and there. Uh, but, you know, I, I, those writers who left Schilling, uh, I mean, uh, Schilling, Beckett off, I'm perfectly legitimate. You know, Sabathia, Carmona, Lackey led the league in ERA. You know, the New York guys saw Beckett not pitch so good, you know, in, in that time. I think maybe the, the, the chapter should do a better job in maybe who, who they select to, to pick the awards maybe, you know. But, uh, but otherwise, I think they do a fine job How about overall. the Hall of Fame? How about the Hall of Fame? Should that yeah. stay in the writer's uh, hands Of course as well? it should, yeah. Of I mean, I, I think that's a tough criteria, too. You have to cover baseball for at least 10 consecutive years. But Bob Costas doesn't qualify for that because he's a broadcaster, he not a writer. As much, as much baseball as the right, baseball writers. Well, here's the other thing. You know, I mean, I mean, broadcasters are usually employed by the team or a part of the team. So I think, I think there's a lot of bias with broadcasters. I think writers are not biased. They're objective. And that's why they do it. I'd throw Tim McCarver in there, but that's a whole oh, other topic geez, for a whole other half hour. He's Nick Cafardo. I'm Tom Carey.